While working in Revit, it will get to a point where you will need to show materials. And usually in Revit, we do this using patterns. All right, you use it like you can see here. When I come over here, you can see this is showing green areas or sands or whatever pattern this might be. And if you come over here, you see this is um concrete, concrete pattern. You can see it showing over here. But now, sometimes when you want to show this pattern, you realize that Revit does not have that particular pattern you might want to use. What do you do then? I am going to show you how you can import patterns into your Revit. New patterns that may not be available, I will show you where to download them and I will show you how you can import it and always reuse it in your Revit project. All right, so to do that, we need to go online and uh, go to cardblocksdwg.com slash hash pattern. Do not worry, I'm going to put the link to this website in my description. So do where to check it out. Now, I want to, when I go back to my Revit, you realize that I don't have a pattern to this roof. I want to add a hatch pattern to this, my roof. Okay, how do I do that? All right, let's go back to our website. So on the roof pattern, I'll just click here. All right, and then to download, all you need to do is come down here. Okay, when you click on it, it is going to download. I've already downloaded it. I don't want to download it again. So you have to click on it. When you click on this download, immediately it is going to download these patterns for you. To import a new pattern, you go over to manage, additional settings, fill pattern. All right, so when you come over here, you come down here, you will see edit fill pattern, you will see new fill pattern, click on new fill pattern, and then set it to custom. All right, now when you set it to custom, you can now import your own. Okay, then you click on browse. All right, you go to the location where the file is. Mine is in my documents. All right, and um, it's actually named HT Roof. So find it, and then I'm going to use this second one. You can use any one you want. So I'm going to select it like so, and I'm going to hit open. Now, when it comes in, it might be, comes in, it might be too big, very big even. Okay, all right. So all you have to do is come over here to import scale and change the scale to something like this, 0.05 or whatever that might you know seem right by you. So I'm gonna say okay right now, and then I'm gonna hit okay. Now to apply this, all I have to do is select this. You just have to select one, it's going to apply to others. Select this, go to edit, in my default roof, I'm going to come down here to the surface pattern and I'm going to select this and I'm going to, okay, HT roof F02. Okay, you can always rename this, you can always come in here and rename it and call it my roof pattern okay and then say okay it has changed itself to my roof pattern i'm going to say okay now i'm going to change this color to you know a little bit grayish i don't want it to be too much and i'm going to apply it and there you have it okay we have our roof flowing in the right direction all right so this is how you import a new pattern all right it, the way it works for this roof you can do this for floors you can do this for walls whatever you want to do all you have to do is import that pattern and then select whatever you want be it floors be it walls be it whatever and then go over there set the pattern to you know but whether you want it to be on the surface or in the cut regions or the you know cut area of that element all right so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a like. That helps me a lot. It helps my video reach a wider audience to help them just like this video has helped you. All right? And if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Not only subscribing, ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future tutorials. Thank you very much for joining me today on this channel. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>